And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Draven. Uh, another donation deck here, a deck that we've played a couple of times in the past, and they always kind of perform better than expected. Uh, both champions are just really solid, both Draven and Garen. We're going to be kind of like this mid rangey aggro deck. Uh, Grand Plaza is going to be a big part of our deck. We got two of those because Grand Plaza can make cards like House Spider and Grizzled Ranger much better than what they normally are. We go pretty big. We have Kato to be able to give Overwhelm to either Draven or Garen. We got a couple of survival skills that can help protect them, especially this card's especially amazing with Draven, of course. Um, and then we get to go uh, big at the top end. We have Captain Farron to help finish the game out. Cythria with the Fearsome is usually pretty sweet. And we have some tricks that people don't really play around. Back-to-back, -back, Riposte, Whirling Death. We'll be able to, um, you know, catch some people off guard with some of these combat tricks. So let's go ahead and try it out. Garen Draven. We'll go play five games in ranked. So 2 4 one so far today. Two awesome records with four ones. Kind of makes up for yesterday. We didn't have a very good day yesterday. <laughs> Getting our wins back. Culling Strike, great against Lissandra, but I'm going to mulligan it. I don't think I should keep it in hopes that they play an early Lissandra, because a lot of times, by the time they play Lissandra, it's already leveled up anyway. I'm just going to mulligan it and try to have more cards to help us curve out. And of course, we want to find our champions, right? Both of our champions are really important. They're very powerful. Especially Draven. Draven's the most important card in our deck. If you could choose one card in our deck to have in our opening hand every game, it would certainly be Draven. If I play another House Spider, it turns on Avalanche. Fairly easily. They're out there. I'll spot them. If only Plaza still did uh, plus one plus one and got us that extra health. Oh, Garen. For justice, for Demacia. Well, kind of wish I would have played, like, House Fighter last round. Interesting. They're willing to do that? You think that's got to mean Vile Feast? That's got to mean Vile Feast. I guess it could be... It could be the Frostbite card, though. Okay, it's not the Frostbite card. The problem with pulling the 2-1 and then relying on Whirling Death is they just may not block with Trundle. Kind of want to test it out and see if they had... Yeah, it's definitely Vile Feast. Um... This would get the level up on Garen. Okay, good, because the Spirit Journey resets the level up. We must not relent. Perfect. Round start rally with Grand Plaza. 
Always a good thing. No, it's not a card that you see normally, but different people play different stuff. But no, that's not a um, a real common card to see. I want to say. Oh, right! I forgot those things have vulnerable. I could have just pulled them by the 1-1 one, one, and the 2-1. Yes, I should have done that. Yes, I, I I, forgot about those things being vulnerable. I'm sorry. I've just been thinking about, like, you know, the Lissandra Watcher. I've, I've been thinking about that kind of stuff. And yeah, I just I didn't even think about that. So yeah, I could have likely killed the opponent right there. Still feel pretty good about killing the opponent right here, because that's... You know, that thing's ephemeral. I didn't need to cooling strike that. I have two decimates. Okay. Still lethal with the decimates. I was I was gonna be able to repost the two one and put them down to two and then one decimate. So they couldn't keep fading memories. Oh, it really is here. So this is gonna be a, a tough matchup. We'll see, because I'm used to playing this deck, but I'm not really used to playing this deck against this one, right? Like this is a new deck that's super aggressive. Do I keep Garen? Can I afford to keep Garen? I kinda I kinda think so. I think I I think I have to. Hopefully we draw cheap stuff. We really like the house spiders. Hmm, not another Garen. <laughs> getting really punished. Yeah, getting really punished. You're covered. Well, might as well get attacking for two. Damage. I'll stop you. Slow down, will you? I took a pretty healthy thirteen damage, basically just from this ribbon dancer. Playing that and attacking with that, we took 13. Here we go. Honor guide me. You missed a step. Healthy attack. Six. So I'm hoping to have Garen single combat. Take down Azir. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. Judge judgment could be pretty big. Wow, that's pretty good. I 
you doing? I guess being a 3-4 means they can't really attack with a really um. Uh... So my best play this next round, of course, is Fleet Feather Tracker plus Garen. The problem with that is that then I have seven mana next round, so then I don't have enough for Judgment. Where if I just play Garen next round, I could have Judgment. Okay, yeah, so y'all say that I should have blocked the Azir, have my Badger Bear as a 3-1 instead of a 3-2, and then get three damage in on the Azir. Yeah, I guess that would have... Uh, that would have worked. To the street! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. How'd you do that? Guards are pretty fair. Basically, it depends if they have homecoming or not. I just have the second homecoming. Homecoming kind of destroys Garen. Alright, send that back too. Let's find our... I really want to find our champions. Nothing to do round one or two. That vile feast. This is odd. We love it when they run. <laughs> Plaza. You would have worked out well last round. Gonna find a gift for an action. Obviously, I don't know, could be a mistake. I'm trading Repost for Merciless Hunter, maybe need to be holding Repost for next round to go along with the Grizzled Ranger. Couldn't find Draven. That that would be the reason to hold on to Repost was turn five Thresh. Oh, 
I guess I'm gonna rely on Coling Strike killing this Thrash. I mean, I can take the pass. My hand's not very good. Go like Plaza Ranger, but then and kill Nasus, but then that levels up Thresh. So that doesn't sound very good. It's like that's so that's the problem with that. It's like if I do that line, it levels up Thresh. I guess I gotta kill Thresh. I wish I would've got damage on that Thresh earlier. Would've made my life easier. out they blocked with Nasus. That worked out. Basically because of Vile Feast, I just protected the Badger Bear because of Vile Feast. This puts them down to two. Which I expect the Decimate to be able to kill them next round. So my expectation is that Decimate should finish this out. Finally, we finally found Draven. The, the end of the third game. I talked about the, the first game, the most important card in our deck is Draven. <laughs> that was our first Draven that we saw, even with our mulligans and everything. Donation deck, what kind of deck is that, Violet? All right, we got Draven Ezreal. This is gonna be a good Captain Farron matchup. All right, Plaza. We just kind of want threats. Maybe a Garen? Wait, I already have Garen, sorry, Draven. Maybe a Draven? Maybe a Draven with Spinning Axe? Okay, it's an Undying deck. Alright, cool. Alright, love the Captain Farron. So we're gonna have some heavy hitters coming up. I have the best job. With Grizzled Ranger, Garen, Cythria, Farron. Let's boogie. I think I just take it. Calling strikes a little rough one against spinning axe. a card I could maybe calling strike, but then I don't have single combat 
for Garen. I kind of want the single combat for Garen. Yeah, I was hoping Draven survival skills on our side. I'm just gonna kill that while I can. Kill it while I can. Kill it while I can. Gonna go ahead and kill it while I can. For those who cannot. Hey, we got a Draven. How about that? We actually drew Draven. I didn't think it was possible. Rise, metal but we did it. Survival skills protects Cythria right now. So ordinary. Prime and Time for the money makers. Trying to take down, I guess we'll try to take down both ballistic bots. These, these free spells by these ballistic bots. It's only doing five. So they have leveled up Ezreal. Can be super scary. Alright, trade off captains. Like Kato here, 
So if I if I play Kato or Cythria, then they just kill this Cythria right before I get to attack. I'm kind of thinking of just, let's see, if I attack right like this, because they're at 9. They have like the 4-4 four, four block the 2-2, two, two, but then we spinning axe it, they shoot the Cythria, block those, we trade off their board, and then kill them with Decimate. So we can still Decimate next round. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll go. I'll go this over this over Kato because Kato they can. It's easier to kill Kato with like Thermogenic Beam, or even with Tri Beam and Probulator. Yeah, the Scythera having that six health. I'll go this route. Let's see. Maybe I should have just attacked immediately. All right, so all three of these are spells over here. All spells that cost four less. Come so far. Follow my lead. Got an axe with your name on it. I'm discarding one of these to kill this 4-1. It's just, do I just discard the Kato, and then I just go like Decimate, Decimate, and they're at 1, but then like, I may not be able to get the other damage across as easily. I think I discarded Decimate. Time for the money makers. I think I'm happy with, I have, you know, Kato plus Decimate in hand. They just have two, you know, they just have two cards. So, like, two cards, two cards. Besides the spinning axes, and then, but I also have these two things in play. Fledgling's Telecorn doesn't block. Well, I guess it blocks the 8-2. It's much easier for them to have a spell to kill the Scythria than have a spell to kill the Draven. Oh, well, they heal their Nexus for one. I was going to have Spinning Axe discard Culling Strike and then decimate them, but they heal their Nexus for one. And that's not bad. All right, so those two last round, this round, really turned it around for my opponents. Can you improve perfection? I can't calling strike that because of Ezreal. And yep, their last card was Ezreal. If I would have kept that extra decimate, then they would have that other 4 1 that would have traded fairly well. Would have made life kind of difficult. I, I don't really regret trade discarding the decimate. They, 
They had some good stuff, though. Those four threes really got them back in it. Thresh Gnosis. Kind of Alright, we're just gonna just mulligan Cythria. I could get ran over though. Maybe I should mulligan Grand Plaza also. I wanna keep Culling Strike because of how good Thresh is, and obviously I wanna keep Garen. And so then then we're looking at Yeah, maybe I should have mulligan the Grand Plaza also. Um I just need to kill this thing. Gross. Wait for them to attack before I play it. Right, I should have Mulligan Grand Plaza getting really punished for for not Mulliganing for cheaper units more than what I did. We just draw on all spells. Oops, all spells. Seven. Alright, well this game was just lost, not having a unit to play before round four with them having you know, against like this matchup. My heart and soul this game was just lost. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Charge! No black spear. That's good. No black spear is good. Wrap him up tight. Why? That makes more sense. Yeah, so I think I think that's a good lesson learned here is don't don't keep Plaza with no hand, right? Like when you don't have the other thing, the other cheap allies and everything, don't keep Plaza. So I I should have just kept Garen, Mulligan the rest probably. It may maybe Culling Strike, but maybe not even Culling Strike. Maybe I should just maybe we got to find a hand first. I don't know if they're like thinking, you know, if they're thinking about atrocity, then I'm gonna lose. Because <laughs> that means that they have atrocity, and that means that I'm gonna lose. Betrayal buried, Shirima. Hope revived it. See, I don't think I, I don't think I really play around atrocity because I can't. They seem to be keeping atrocity mana available all the time and then stopping and thinking a lot like they are really thinking about atrocity. Good news is they only have one card left, so maybe it's not atrocity. Maybe it was like Black Spear that they were thinking about. It's always a chance. We'll get our Single combat would have been my best draw, but we couldn't find it. And that last card was atrocity. No single combat for me. That's sad, both of our losses 
were both ones that we had Garen, we had Judgment that was going to just, you know, win the game for us. Effectively. And my opponent was just holding the answer. Last time they had one of their, you know, they had already played a homecoming, but they had another homecoming. This time they had an atrocity. Those were both of our losses. If You know, no homecoming, no, no atrocity. Maybe that's a 5-0, but probably not. <laughs> they were kind of expecting him. All right, so um, need to mulligan, need to look for our early units more than I did there that last game. Um, so overall, I could see just playing another early unit than what we had. We did struggle with that multiple times in a lot of games, right? Like both of our losses, we really struggled with that. I think that maybe the card here is maybe the back-to-back. -back. Maybe that needs to be another early unit. I was very happy with House Spider. I could see just playing all three House Spiders instead of the back-to-back. -back. I think that's, yeah, I think I would kind of recommend doing that. Then you only, then you have 23 units, still have tons and tons of spells. This seems like a very, very good House Spider metagame. So that's one one little small change I'd kind of recommend. But like I said, these decks always like overperform. Both of my losses, same kind of thing. I kept a greedy hand. Um, my opponent went went under me. Like you know, played a whole lot of attackers, that kind of stuff. I tried to have a judgment save us. Didn't work out. They uh, had the spell to stop that, and we died. All right. So I think just one extra little house spider in there. I think that could be pretty good. But all right, there we go. That's Garen Draven. Another good showing. Um, you know, pretty solid deck. If you want to do something a little different, you want to play Grand Plaza again, do something a little different than what anybody else is doing in the metagame, you can get some good wins. We played against great decks there, right? Like we were playing against Draven Ezreal and Thresh Nasus, Aurelia Zir, you know, all, all the sorts of tier one decks because it's, uh, you know, it's ranked. And so uh, good record, three and two. We'll take it. Great record overall today. Um, very impressed with our three donation decks. Yesterday was not our day. Today... Today was our day, you know, got some good wins. Uh, 11 and 4 overall, great record. All right, so that's going to be it here for Garen Draven. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and, and everything else. But uh, thank you so much for watching some Garen Draven, and I'll see you for the next video.